Welcome to This Week Inside Sim Racing, November 23rd edition. I'm Darren Ganji with my good buddy, Sean Cole. And This Week Inside Sim Racing is sponsored by iRacing.com, where the new roof Porsche is coming soon. And there's a quick tee shot that uh, iRacing just came out with on a trailer. We got it here for you. And uh, go to iRacing.com to check into a membership today. So on today's show, actually before I get to today's show, uh, just quick, next week we are not going to put out of this week inside sim racing because it's Thanksgiving here in the States, so me and my good buddy are going to take a little holiday. So anyway, going to skip next week, and we got lots of stuff coming next week too, starting with Forza 5 content. And if you wonder what Sean's doing back there and why we're set up like this, we're getting set up for Forza 5. It's a big day around here. Big day. It's like Christmas. We're waiting on brown Santa right now, and if you're... <laughs> Wonder who Brown Santa is. That's the UPS driver, and uh, our Xbox One is on its way here. So we're waiting on that right now. So yeah, out now. Lots of coverage, like I said, and and we already heard from Purple Santa, and we were able to get our uh, play seat Forza Motorsport Edition. That's what I'm doing here, is getting our wheel all mounted up and it, ready for it. Yeah, we'd like to thank our friends at Play Seat for hooking us up with that, and thank our friends at Thrustmaster for setting us up with the 458 Italia. TX racing wheel and the T3PA pedal set. And uh, those that's the official name, by the way. We weren't sure exactly when we did our unboxing, which if you haven't checked it out, check that out. But uh, we don't have a price yet on these. Don't have a date of availability. We will hopefully have that soon or Thrustmaster will have that soon. Some quick things, quick tidbits. Uh, this, it's called a conical brake mod. Was installed a little bit wrong when we got it, so We'll show you some shots of how it was supposed to be installed, and we're going to install that correctly. A couple more things uh, just about these pedals. Faces are adjustable uh, side to side, so that's something we, we didn't really mention anything as we were unboxing this thing. Um, you can mount it to your rigs. Got some uh, hard mount points there on the bottom. And uh, so anyway, moving on, we'll get more, to more of those and all of that stuff soon. Before we do, lots, a few more things to talk about. I'd like to thank Moro. We mentioned that in the unboxing too. He's one of our viewers who, if you didn't watch last week's show, we didn't have an Xbox One pre-ordered. We reached out to you guys and Moro hit us up. He had actually ordered two of them through Amazon, pre-ordered them, and offered to give us one of those pre-orders. So he redirected it and that's why Brown we're waiting on Brown Santa because that Xbox One is in route right now. And uh, that's the last thing we're waiting on. Got a code from uh, Turn 10. And uh, we're going to be doing some Forza driving. And that's why we're doing all this right now. Yep. <laughs> Obviously, top story is this wheel and pedal set that we've got. And uh, one of the big things is, so you know, first production run has firmware version V40 or V41. And it's not going to function properly on the Xbox One unless you upgrade it to version 45 or V45. And I know it can be kind of a pain in the butt, especially if you don't have a PC, but it's required. So you're gonna have to figure it out, take it to your friend's house, do your mom's parents, whatever, get that thing upgraded. Uh, we're gonna have a link to that in our description here on, to be able to update that. So uh, another couple things about the Xbox One and wheel compatibility. There's gonna be a conflict. There could be a conflict with your gamepad. A couple things to avoid this or hopefully avoid this. At the beginning of the game when you're in front of the McLaren P1 car, the message press A to open the car door appears and you're gonna need to press A on your TX racing wheel. The message then appears on screen, use the left thumbstick to walk toward the open door. There is no mini thumbstick on the TX racing wheel, so you gotta simply turn your car wheel to the right and then press your A button on the TX racing wheel to enter the car. And then you're gonna press the A button again on your racing wheel to start the race. And now supposedly you're ready to play. And we'll find that out soon. By the time you watch this, we're probably already gonna have a video out too, so. Uh, now, here's another note. During the first rate race, the default settings for your wheel are easy and assisted mode and automatic shifting. Afterwards, you're gonna be able to modify these settings by going to the assist slash game and assist difficulty, braking, steering, trash control, stability, shifting, and damage. You can change all that stuff there. There's also gonna be a conflict with the game pad and the wheel conflicting with each other. And a solution to resolve this conflict is press and hold the Xbox guide button on your gamepad controller for two seconds. Select controller off, the lighting on the gamepad controller Xbox guide button goes off, so basically you're disabling your gamepad. Disconnect the wheel's USB cable from the console and then reconnect the cable to the console. The wheel starts and restarts and recalibrates. So Sean, 
Yeah. Sounds like this wheel's not gonna be uh, wireless. No, no, you had mentioned you're gonna have to plug this wire in, huh? Or plug it in via USB. Yeah, with the adapter yeah. which I have over there. So, interesting. Sounds like this, we're not sure yet. We're gonna give you more of that later too, where you might see that in another episode of ours. We're gonna have a bunch of stuff coming out here. Uh, press the A button on your wheel to re-enable the wheel in the game. And then in the race, enable cockpit view and verify that the wheel on screen in the game stops turning when the TX racing wheel exceeds 180 degrees of rotation and that the wheel's force feedback is now normal. This is not the case, repeat step three and four a second time. And these items are gonna be addressed in, a, in an update that uh, Microsoft Turn 10 is gonna come out with in supposedly mid-December. So more news on that as soon as we find out. Uh, some other things about that wheel. People were asking about how is it gonna connect to the shifter and is the TH8 RS gonna be compatible? No, it is not. The TH8A is gonna be the new shifter that's gonna come out as part of this ecosystem for the Thrustmaster wheel. And there's like a little PS2 port on the back of the race wheel. I got an image here for you. And that's, I'm assuming, how you're gonna connect the shifter to the wheel. No price on that, no availability, but as soon as we get that again, we'll talk to you, we'll let you know. Uh, next up, we're gonna change gears a little, oh wait, nope, sorry, not gonna change gears yet. People weren't sure about the compatibility of the Formula One rim and the GTE rim because we showed us attaching it to that base. You're getting close, aren't you? I'm very close. <laughs> uh, to that base during our unboxing. Yes, that is gonna be compatible. Uh, they are compatible. You're gonna be able to use the F1 rim and the GTE rim on that. Are you gonna be able to use the GT rim? Probably not, because that's a PlayStation Gran Turismo wheel. So, probably not gonna be compatible. Now we're changing gears. Gonna switch away from this wheel and Forza 5 for a minute and uh, talk about WRC4. There is a force feedback tweak over at No Grip Racing. And you know, we haven't mentioned No Grip in a while. Remember all the mods we used to get from there, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, they're a great resource in general. Great resource for mods, nogripracing.com. As a matter of fact, uh, Sean just did a test drive in the retro formula car in GameStop car 2013 at Monaco. And that version of Monaco we got from No Grip Racing. So check out No Grip Racing, great place to get some mods. They have mods for pretty much all the current simulators. R Factor, uh, GTR2, Game Stock Car. I think I think I even saw someone for F1 2013. I would imagine a set of Corsa mods are going to be there too. So check out NoGripRacing.com. Next up, forum. Our forum. Great topic, Sean. This topic about top ten. Your top ten favorite simulations yeah. or racing games of all time. I noticed you had chimed in on that, and I meant to, but it also made me think we talked about the the ultimate sim. Yes, um, which I guess a lot of components would come from those titles. But anyway, I listed mine. My well, you, can you guess what my number one was, or did you see it already? I saw already, so I'd be cheating. NASCAR 2003 was my number one, and it was for me, it was based on how much I played it. Some of the other ones on the list for me, R-Factor, iRacing, going back to Indianapolis 500, the simulation from 88 or 89 when that came out, that was my first true racing simulation that I ever tried. IndyCar Racing 1 and 2 by Papyrus, World Circuit Grand Prix, We'd like to hear from you guys. What are your favorite top? Because everybody's were different. I don't think I don't think there was a top ten that, that uh, like Sean. Name some of yours. Grand Prix uh, Legends. Grand Prix Legends is absolutely on the top of my list. What would be number one for you, Sean? Um, it would be Grand Prix Legends. I think. Yeah. You know, some people. At, it, I'll tell you another one that was big for me. Uh, I didn't play it as much as I wanted to, but Sports Car GT was a game that kind of made it look like we were making huge advances at the time, but my system couldn't run it. Yeah, I hear you. Same exact issue I had with that title. Uh, anyway, we're gonna have a link to that thread in the description here. We'd love you to join in and, and in on that discussion and chime in on what was your top 10. And that's all we wanna hear, you know. Some other titles from, from me from uh, from the arcade. Remember Hard Driving, Sean? Yes, yes. Hard Driving was like the first true sim I ever drove. That was in the arcade. and So there's arcade titles. Console, you know, I love the Gran Turismo series. I love the Forza series. Would that be my top 10? Maybe, for console. So, uh, 
We'd love you to check out. Speaking of our forums, we have some great leagues going on there. Touring Pro Seasons got their winter series going. Check out on uh, their section. We've got our hardware, our software section. And speaking of our forums, if you add a topic in our forums, uh, it shows up on our homepage. So it's like news to the community and we want you to chime in. If you find some news and we see it, that's that's great. And it's great to see it you know, on the front page of our of our website. Uh, last, Sean, Aceto Corsa. Aceto Came Corsa. out with a new patch today. Yeah, that was a big deal. Three new cars, two new tracks, a whole bunch of changes to the game as well, or the sim. I mean, they made a lot of updates. So, you know, in the last Twizzer, you talked about frequency, um, the frequency of their updates and how often they do it. And that would be detrimental to the sim. And I mean, if they keep up this pace, they're looking really good. Yep. So yeah, uh, three cars, two tracks, lots of fixes. Got that uh, article at our site and uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this week, Sean. I'm ready to go here, so I just need an Xbox now. So, waiting on Brown Santa. Hopefully he'll be here soon. Matter of fact, we gotta get going because we don't wanna miss that door. He's gonna be here any minute and we need to get our Xbox. We need to start downloading Forza Motorsport 5. Matter of fact, we're gonna do something we've never done before. We're gonna run two cameras like we're running right now. We're all set up for it. And we're gonna run raw our first hour. Not live, but raw. Porting from the game. But a camera behind us, a camera looking down on us. Sean and I are going to be alternating behind the wheel. We're going to go through the first hour of the title. Stop, get it out to you guys. So, probably see that before the show or right in conjunction with. But hopefully, you've enjoyed this week inside sim racing. Check out our website, isrtv.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. For Sean Cole, my good buddy, I'm Darren Ganji. We'll see you guys next time.